Okay, everyone. So uh, I've got most of the items mounted. I have everything laid out now. So the complete device, basically. Um, I'm not going to mount this yet or the choke coil. I have the meter all mounted. It's on there. Uh, all that's functioning properly. Uh, the choke now. So what, what will happen now is we will take a negative feed here. Probably put a, a diode into the negative out. We will take the positive off the IGBT. Out, out to the positive of the cap. Okay, so I'll build the cap bank as well. And that inverter. This one here I showed you. Just had to grab it. We will hook him up on top of the cap bank. I will make uh, about 700 volt, uh, 11,000 microfarads is basically what I have. I might be able to scrounge a few more, maybe get 15,000 microfarads at seven, uh, 700 volt. We'd run it at about 500 volt or 450. So the potential difference here at uh, 600 volt dumping at 450 would be in and around 1,000 volt, 1,100 volt. This would be operating at okay and uh at uh 400 volt potential well then we would be running about 900 volt somewhere in there on this end and 200 volt well we would be running at about 600 volt here 650 maybe 700 maybe maximum at 500 in the cap so what happens is uh, so here's the in entire setup so just like i explained i'll go on and wire him but uh, the post is just about to run today, and my big IGBTs, 1200 volt, 600 amp, might be in. If they're in, I might look at putting one of them in this place. So, uh, uh, not that we need 1200 volts, but we definitely won't blow it for over voltage because there's only a potential difference of up to 600 volts here on this dumper that we are allowing. Okay, so. Um, it's like a buck converter, but a very, very efficient one. Um, so anyways, it, it, that's basically what it does. And then uh, as, so when you first energize this device, this capacitor is empty, all these capacitors are empty, and your output capacitor is empty. So in the first action, and you have this set to say maximum power, like... Uh, uh, if you're using 600 volt dumping, you have them set for a thousand volts. So whatever voltage he takes to pump your cap here, full to 1,000 volts, then you're going to minus 600 here, the differential between the two in the settings, and then you are going to end up with 400 volts here in this big cap. So what will happen then? So you set your thing to the running voltage of 1,000 volts. You adjust this. That is operating then. He will dump. But he will not go to 1,000 volts right off the start. What happens is it compounds. It compounds here and it compounds here. So basically he bounced back and forth until this cap is full to the value you wish to run at. Your inverter, you turn him on at that voltage. So he will have another voltmeter on this capacitor. Probably 500 voltmeter right we will put that there and this will have this one and as these two as this device runs he's going to keep dumping until this capacitor is up to that voltage right and then he is going to go open circuit the dumper will quit dumping the system will run at zero watts or as low as you have him set to uh, open circuit uh, this will just stay idle full ready to dump so as soon as you put a, turn this on and put a load a hundred watt light bulb you will get a voltage drop across your capacitor because the voltage here is being consumed out of the capacitor so he's going to drop as he drops <laughs> um, this circuit here is monitoring basically the difference between anything more than whatever you have them set for 600 volts so if this goes up drops down uh, maybe 30 volt into cap 40 volt into cap he's going to engage this to dump so if you really load this and he goes right down fast 
this thing is going to kick in high speed up to whatever you have him capped at on the amps and uh, he's going to pull a lot of watts and he's going to pump that through the system and you end up with these conserved reserve capacities that never really drain they never really drain they just keep filling and dumping to a certain point so this cap never drains on a dump he's only draining 600 volts out of this cap through the choke into this big cap and that is what's running your inverter and your inverter is working on all that conserved energy in that cap he created as he built up and when you're not pulling power he goes open circuit when you're pulling power well this pulls from your source so this here system is designed to have like big 48 volt or whatever you want battery uh, if we had a better buck converter system on the start we could run him right on the output capacitor you know so then you just charge the output capacitor you don't run the inverter you run the device this goes and then once the device is running you load the inverter on your output capacitor and then it is closed loop you see without the battery okay have a great day, everyone.